Here we are coming off the Majesty of the Seas after we have done our kayaking excursion. This is uh, the Key West Cruise Terminal. There's the area right there where everybody lines up for their excursions uh, in the mornings, you know, when they come off the ship and so forth. And uh, apologize for the video. Uh, I learned several lessons on this cruise, one of which is that my camcorder, my brand new camcorder, has a really crappy stabilization compared to what the new GoPro 7 can do, uh, which I've already notified the uh, manufacturer of the camcorder about that. So for future trips, I guess I'm gonna have to use the GoPro 7 because it's the only camera that I have that has actual proper built-in stabilization that actually works. So it's kind of annoying, but it's one of those things. So uh, beautiful day in Key West, Florida, extremely hot. This was um, probably early afternoon, maybe two o'clock, three o'clock, I don't know, something like that. Because by the time we did the excursion, we got back to the ship, you know, shower, change, went to eat in the wind jammer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then a little bit of time in the afternoon to go back off the ship and kind of walk around Key West. And um, I wanted to go over to the area where the Key West uh, webcam is and see that other part of the of the cruise port area where the ships come in. So that's kind of sort of where we're heading right here, but we don't really have any specific destination. We've got a couple of hours to kill before we have to be back on the ship. So a lot of a uh, lot of bicycles down there. It's pretty pretty popular in Key West. And also you might have noticed all of those uh, jet skis. So I would love to go back to Key West on a future trip where the only thing we have planned is basically to rent a couple of jet skis for like a long period of time, several hours to where we can just go run around with jet skis. So that's my, that's my next thing. And we were actually planning on doing this cruise again, probably late 2020. And then the government screwed everything up by putting that regulation in or that stipulation, whatever they did, that the cruise ships can no longer go to Cuba because this was a four-night cruise that went to Key West and then to Havana, Cuba. And I wanted to do the whole cruise again next year, in 2020, and just do some different excursions. And that got all screwed up. I thought this was kind of funny. The guys walking by all wearing the same shirt. That was, that was kind of cool. So that uh, vendor right there probably does pretty good business during the day when it's nice and hot out there. I noticed quite a few people going to the ice cream store right there. So the, they probably do quite the business, especially when there's a lot of people in port, you know, a couple different cruise ships and so forth. So here we start to make our way over towards um, this other area. At this point, I didn't even know what to call it. I just sort of knew that there was a bunch of stuff kind of in that direction. So we just sort of started walking down there and we come across this neat little area down here with some shops and stuff like that and then we eventually make our way over to this other square uh, that I guess doubles as like a, a cruise terminal.
there it is. If you're enjoying the video so far, please consider giving it a like. That really helps us grow the channel and increase our viewership. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do subscribe, change that notification icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So this was kind of a trip right here, seeing like chickens and roosters and just little baby chicks, just kind of chickens just all over the place down here. And I never really understood what was going on with that. And um, it's such a, a popular thing down here that there's some kind of something in this area that will make the sound of a rooster like every so often. And so if you're ever watching the Key West uh, port webcam, you'll hear it in the background like every 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes or something like that. And I've spent a lot of time watching that webcam over the months preceding this cruise because I was kind of curious about the Key West area. So I was started checking out the webcam and I would hear that rooster or whatever it is going off. I was like, what is that coming from? And then we get down here to Key West and we actually kind of see them in person. And it's like, I don't understand what the deal is with this so if you know what the backstory is on the chickens and the roosters and all this kind of leave some comments on the video let me know uh, what the deal is with that so this is Mallory Square uh, when we were first pulling into port um, on the ship, I was thinking we were going to dock here because I have seen on the webcam that uh, some other cruise ships have you know, docked here in the past whenever I was watching the cam. So when they put us over at the other spot, right over next to the Margaritaville Resort, when I first looked out the window of the ship, I was like, this doesn't look like what I expected it to be. So I kind of wanted to come down here and check out this square for myself just to sort of see it in person because I'd always seen it from the webcam and you know there's it's big and so they do a lot of activities down here so there obviously wasn't anything going on while we were here so we spent just a minute or two looking around and say okay we've seen it let's go somewhere else and do something different um Well, they can only see the outer part of it, like the slip close part, they can't quite see. Um, because the trees are in the way. See the American flag? Just to the left of it, there's a white camera. Oh yeah. That's it. That is the Key West Harbor Camp. Oh, right there. Yeah. Key West Harbor. So we make our way into this little market here, and uh, my wife ended up buying uh, a few things in here, a couple of like uh, bars of soap and just some other knickknacks that are like, you know, made with key lime or just something that's unique and specific to the Key West area. This was a cool little place to do some shopping.
uh, hard. Yeah. So at this point, we're very slowly making our way back to the ship, and um, it's kind of later in the afternoon, and we still could have stayed out a little bit longer, but at this point, we had already done the kayaking excursion, we'd already walked around a little bit and kind of seen, you know, this area right here, and there's probably an awful lot more to Key West that we didn't, you know, just to see and do out here, but we spent several hours doing our kayak excursion earlier, and that would have accounted for any time we would have had to go and see the rest of Key West. So that was part of the reason I wanted to come back on a future trip, on a future cruise, and just do different excursions to get a chance to see more of Key West. So hopefully we'll get a chance to uh, do that in the future. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and change your notifications and the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video.